Guys, welcome back to the Comedy Lottery. How are you guys doing tonight? Woo! Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm your host, Austin Locke. My name is Demetrius Fields, and today we're joined by Will Foskey, everybody. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> this is the comedy lottery. Dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. They will then be rated on a scale of one through ten by this panel of judges right here. And the comedians with the three highest scores at the end of the night will do one final joke. And then you, yes, you, the audience, will decide who goes home with the comedy lottery jackpot. Austin, what's the comedy lottery jackpot tonight? Like 230 bucks, everybody. Holy fucking shit. 230. Pretty good. Pretty also, good. Pretty, a round of applause for Demetri. He does not have his script in front of him. That was off the dome right there, everybody. Absolutely. Six months, and finally, we're off book up here. It's been nine painful months. It's been nine painful months. <laughs> the amount of shit you get people for bringing notes up there, and then you always had them in front of you. Goddamn right, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you saw me trying to work that cash register. I couldn't do it. Uh, real quick, light's going to be coming from the back of the room at two. We're going to get you out of here at three. But our winner from last week didn't show up, so boo, Aaliyah. Boo, boo. Aaliyah. Boo. How dare you? But, yeah, she's on the road. What a hack, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But luckily for you, we're going to be pulling 13 names tonight. So are you guys ready to go to the bucket? You guys ready for your first comedian? Keep it going. Make some noise for uh, Josh Creedon, everybody. Do better than that. Go fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, let me see. Uh, do you guys know who Sylvia Plath is? Yeah. I'm familiar with her. I just learned about who she was, like feminist literary icon. Uh, killed herself by putting her head in an oven. Um, I know that worked. Apparently, it works by breathing in all the gases, and it kills you. I thought you just flipped the oven on and had some grit. You know, I thought you were just, ah, just screaming. I was like, man, women are strong. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. Honestly, here's the thing. If you're a feminist, don't kill yourself in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Like, don't do, like, what are you doing? Kill yourself in, like, a corporate office. Office, like a, like a, you know, or like getting an abortion, you know, something feministy, something like that. Um, oh, speaking of abor people worried about abortion being made illegal. Here's the thing: at the states that it'll be made illegal, they they love uh, the capital punishment too. So here's the thing: if it's made illegal, by law, you got to keep the baby. You, by law, keep the baby, have the baby, frame the baby for murder. Okay, and then you can, <laughs> then you can kill the baby. Uh, and that way you're a hero too, because you stopped a murdering baby on the loose. So it's kind of nice. Um, here's a, I've, I've run that past pro-life people and pro-choice people, and each of them don't get upset at it. Pro-life people like it because I'm calling it a baby the entire time. Um, and pro-choice people like it because at the end of the joke, there's a dead baby. Uh, so that's why they like it. Um, it kind of plays, plays both sides. Um, let me see here. Oh, this is a character I've been working on. Um, this, character, this character is an early 1800s business consultant. Okay? Early 1800s business consultant. <clears throat> Oh, just get some slaves. <laughs> All right. That's an early age. <laughs> Does it know the ROI on slaves? It's nuts. You guys got to get slaves. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this. Actually, the first business consultancy was founded in the 1880s, suspiciously soon after slavery was made illegal. It's like slavery is made illegal, and people are like, making money's hard. This is crazy. How do you do this? You know what I mean? Um, let me see. Um, uh, I saw this video on Instagram recently about sex trafficking. I'm um, like that it's bad. Um, and the voiceover was like, they are stealing our children and selling them for as little as $90. Is the way he said it made it sound like he was upset about how cheap they're selling our kids for? Like it's like now like if it was for three hundred dollars, you'd be like, thank you, that's more appropriate. Um, which just feels like a weird thing to complain about because if the kids are so cheap, if they're so cheap, just buy the kids back. Just buy them back. Said, you have ninety dollars to buy your kids back? Come on. Um, all right, that's my time. Thanks very much. Josh, everybody. Yeah. Tackling feminism and slavery in three minutes. They said it couldn't be done, it's and he fucking I, did it, it's bro. It's because I care. It's because he cares, That's dude. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Dude, I've, funny shit. Thank you. You're so funny. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's yeah. a lot of fun. I've, always, I, I've never, ever expected my name to be called, so when I am, I'm like, oh, I have no idea what I'm going to yeah. say up there. But was, I'm, I'm happy I was able to pull that out of my no, back. It sounded it. like you knew what you wanted to say up there. That went really well. well. Yeah, wow. I appreciate first it. First spot. You know, make some noise. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm happy it went all right. Dude, first cool. spot is a famous bombable spot. People get <laughs> jealous and angry. That was good. I don't have any fucking notes for you. I feel oh, like sweet. every single joke, you tried to at least take it to like another second level, third level of thought. It was always 
was fun. It, I I liked it. Cool. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, yeah, same. That was really good. Oh, great! I'm happy. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, you make it hard to do for us to say anything because that was just that was good. Well, yeah, that's that good because I'm not good at riffing. So Hell uh, yeah. I got it. Doesn't he look like if the squid from Rocket Power grew up and went to college? <laughs> <laughs> what's, Rocket, what's Rocket Power? It was too niche of a reference. I think. Yeah, good job. Rocket Power is too niche. No, yeah, no it <laughs> just wasn't that funny. No, it was. I like. <laughs> He'd rather be not funny than niche. <laughs> look, like, no, I bombed. Everyone knows who that is. <laughs> yeah, pretty. pretty much. You put rocket power above you. Yeah, I like that's, that. Yeah, that's great. I got to check out that show. Then. Nah, you totally. look like a, like a you look like a thick Matthew Lillard. I'm sorry okay, I started I don't this. Know Matthew Lillard. I'm sorry yeah, I started yeah, yeah. the chain of this. No, it's okay. That's fine. All right. You got well, one? Do I look like I, anything? I, you look like Josh. I don't know. I got oh, no, oh, come yeah. on. I used to have a mustache. I got Ned Flanders a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to get that, but now I don't. I'm liking no mustache, dude. Oh, honestly, honestly, I really like your set. I'm going to give it a pretty high score to start the night. I'm giving that one a 9. I was oh, 9.5 for me. That was Shit, fucking hilarious. Oh, thank you. Hell yeah. What are you thinking? 9.3. Wow. Nice. Yeah, split, come on. Yeah. 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 Point three. He's his own man. Hell yeah. So the score to beat is 27.8, everybody. Right, Make some noise you. for Josh it. as he it's gets cool. off the stage. Are you ready for your second bucket pull of the night? Guys, second comedian, give it up for Luke Davis. Keep it going for him as he makes his way to the stage. Thank you guys, thank you. Thank you. I, um, I'm about to get fired. I can, I can feel it coming. You know you feel it coming, like a breakup. But it's a, it's a long, di it's, a, it's a remote job, so it kind of feels like a breakup with a long distance girlfriend that I've never actually met. Uh, it also feels that way when I tell people about my job. They're like, you have a job? I'm like, yeah. They're like, what is it? I'm like, well, it's in, Texas. You, you probably haven't seen it, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty, here's a picture of my job. You know, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty sexy job. I'm kind of looking forward to getting fired in a sick way because I'm going to have to get a shitty job again. And I think the shittier your job is, the better stories you get from it, right? Like the shittiest job I ever had, I worked at McDonald's. That's a shitty job, okay? They, the work is degrading. They, uh, you know, the patrons are lunatics. They, they pay you in pickles, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I worked there three weeks. In that time, I got 2,700 stories from it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the best story. One day, an old man came in, Vietnam War vet, electric wheelchair, and he wheeled right up to the counter. And I'll never forget what he said. He said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, hello, sir, would you like to try the McRib? And he was like, you seem like you're a little bit too good to be working here at this place. Why don't you come over to my place? I'd, you can mow my lawn. I'll give you a couple extra bucks. So I'm thinking this will be good, you know? We'll form an unlikely friendship. He'll teach me how to be a man. I'll teach him to not be racist against Chinese or something. I don't know. <laughs> So I go over there to the guy's place, and he answers the door, standing. He's not in the wheelchair. <laughs> and I was like, it's a miracle. <laughs> you beat it. <laughs> he invites me in. He goes, uh, he goes, you want a beer? And I was like, no, I'm just a, I'm just a boy, you know. <laughs> and he sits me down, and I swear to God this is true. He goes, listen, I'm just going to level with you. <laughs> Back there in Vietnam, I found I had a thing for sucking off young, cute guys. <laughs> and I was like, I got to go, man. I just, because what happened is I just remembered that my mom told me that I'm not supposed to get raped. So I got <laughs> I got a jet out of here. I like that story more than you guys did. <laughs> I like that story a lot because it goes exactly where it seems like it's going. There's no, that wasn't the old man from Home Alone where it's like, oh, he was cool. <laughs> he's just, at the end, he's like, I want to suck your penis. <laughs> so, all right, that's it. Thank you guys very much. Uh, guys, Luke Davis. Keep it going for him. I was I was surprised at the end of the story because I thought that he was going to try to get you to suck his penis. So the reversal that it was you, that got me. Right, yeah. Yeah, don't sell your story short, dog. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
Mm. See, it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought he was going to be not a Vietnam veteran. I'm not going to lie. That's right. I thought was, you were worried about guy. stolen valor. <laughs> yeah, like, I was. Yeah, I was. Just a dirty draft dodger. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, the, it was you're... Bill Clinton. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, do you want to say anything before I fucking start trying to break things down? Go, go, go for it. All right. I so I think with the first joke that you told with the long distance open relationship, you didn't need to open with like the get fired thing. I feel like it kind of just gets in the way. I feel like uh, you could just open with the premise. So yeah. long, uh, open, fuck, work from home is like a long distance relationship. Then go into the fire job thing. I used to try to make it flow into like the the shitty job story, but it just seemed a little bit a little clunky trying to get from point A to point B to point C with the thing. There were lines in it that I thought were super funny. Like my mom told me not to get raped. That's a hilarious yeah, that, thing I to like say that. to a rapist. It's very funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, like I didn't it. actually say that. I was just. Like, <laughs> I was like, no, please. He was, <laughs> That's, that's even he was funny. just crying. I was like, no, sir, please, <laughs> sir. Was he polite about it? Like, was, yeah, he take and then when grace? I told him, like, did I told him that, and he was like, oh, like, my bad. Like, it was <laughs> he like, thought you were giving off a vibe. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was, like, something mm, special. Just like a, a bashful old guy. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> well, he came on strong, and then he kind of, like, it was like when you try to kiss a pretty girl, and then I kind of... <laughs> I think it's like when you try to yeah. kiss a pretty girl. <laughs> don't put any of that on it. Don't put any of the McDonald's creepiness on us. No, 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 no. No, I text their friends first. <laughs> like, yeah, can I kiss her? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I thought it was fun, though. You look like Peter Parker if he got bit by a radioactive earwig. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's a bad And, and you thought his reference was too niche? Earwig? You thought earwig was kind of... Yeah, everybody get out your biology textbooks yeah. and turn to page 287. Earwig, you don't think you guys all know what it looks like? Looks like everybody yeah, that's knows what, looks what a fucking earwig is. Hop off my ass! <laughs> yeah, uh. It looks like the thing from Dune, kind of, right? Yeah, kind of. It's like it looks like Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> no, yeah. man, the worm, the worm from the buckets. <laughs> it's got little pinchy things on both sides. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, I told that to you. Nah, sorry, maybe sorry. it was wrong. For I, liked, I liked, I liked, I, I like that you're about to get fired. I think that's funny. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I think it's. I always think it's funny to, to get fired over Zoom. That's like a funny thing that happens now. Yeah, and I'm like, like I'm like, what do I do yeah. if you get fired from getting remote? Like you just go. What out, happens? Go what happens if you just don't take the Zoom call? Yeah. <laughs> Are you like? How long can you make that one go? I think they just stop paying you. Mm, I think that's yeah. how it goes. Yeah. That's fine. On a more serious note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, but I bet it would get you another week or two if you just never click the link. I'll tell you what you do. You watch porn on your work computer for the first time and you I, feel like a free man. I have another part of this that I, I, I'm I working it out. I probably should have done better test this stuff, but I'm so excited about this. It's no, okay, brother. Yeah, no, I love like your energy. It's stuff. exciting stuff. There's, yeah, there's, there's steaks. Yeah. 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 $230 worth of steaks. It's right. Fun time. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you were no Josh, but I thought you were funny. That's so. Cool. That's, that's, <laughs> and my score is going to reflect that sentiment. Um, yeah. Seven. Oh, thanks. Whoa, yeah. What are you thinking? I was gonna do. I was gonna do six point six. Okay, yeah. Six point six. I don't know why it makes a difference from six point five to six. It definitely could at the end for sure. Mm -hmm. If somebody has point one higher than they're in the finals, and somebody else is not, I'm not opposed to it. Have some fun, man. Do what you want to do. That being said, uh, I'm gonna give that one like a five point five. Hell yeah. Five is average. That's not mean. That's above that's, average. Uh, so that's that's fine. That's a little um, mean. Guys, give it up for Luke, everybody. Yeah. As he exits the stage. Coming up next, third comedian of the night. Give it up for David Weissglass. <laughs> What's going on? How you doing? Yeah. I, uh, I've lived in uh, New York for three years now. Uh, I love New York, but I, I'm realizing like how much of a bubble I live in. Like I was talking to my cousins a couple months ago. I was talking to them on Juneteenth, uh, but my cousins live in South Carolina, and in South Carolina, they have a different name for Juneteenth. They call it, what the fuck is Juneteenth? <laughs> I was like, happy Juneteenth. They go, Juneteenth. I was like, yeah, it's the day that slaves were free. They made it a holiday during COVID. They were like, COVID? I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, that's my bad. Wait till you guys hear about COVID. I, I feel bad for my cousins. Because, like, I don't know, they got these, like, thick southern accents, right? And whenever they come up and visit me here in New York, people assume that they're racist just because of the accent. And it's not true. They're not racist. But I, I get the assumption, you know? <laughs> you ever hear someone with, like, a thick southern accent say the word Chinese? <laughs> scares the shit out of you, for real. I, it could be totally innocent. Hey, what are you feeling for dinner tonight? How about Chinese? You're like, oh, <laughs> something definitely bad is coming after that. <laughs> 
I've been hanging out with my dad a lot more recently. Uh, my dad, we, we, you know, we get along pretty well, but he's he's a Republican, so you know, we have some, uh, you know, strife there. But he's not racist. My dad is not racist, and he can prove to you he's not racist. And before you say it, I know what you're thinking, oh, he probably says, I have a black friend, right? That's what everyone's excuse is. My dad doesn't do that. He doesn't say, I have a black friend. Because uh, he can't. He doesn't have any. Uh, where was he supposed to meet him, guys? He only lived in New York City for 30 fucking years. Turns out avoiding Brooklyn during the 80s has an impact on your social circle. <laughs> I, that's true. My dad lived in New York City for 30 years, no black friends. Then he moved to New Jersey, lived there for the last 30 years, no Indian friends. It's not easy to pull off. That's, <laughs> this guy's worked harder at avoiding minorities than I've worked at anything in my entire life. When he was giving me the whole like work hard speech as a kid, I didn't know that's what he was talking about. <laughs> he didn't sit me down and give me that. He wasn't like, son, remember, if you work hard and really apply yourself, you will never have any trouble pronouncing your friends' names. You will just have Michaels and Roberts for the rest of your life. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm in therapy right now. Uh, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to like learn how to meditate. I'm trying to work on that, but it's difficult to do. Like I can't like get in that spot. My my therapist gave me a tip. He said if you meditate, it's a good idea to do it in a room in your house that you don't spend a lot of time in, right? So you always like associate that as your meditation space. I was like, yeah, I live in a 300 square foot studio. I spend a lot of time in each of my room. In fact, <laughs> I, how am I supposed to? Do? Now my friends come over and they're just like, hey, where's your bathroom? Like, don't have a bathroom. Do have a private mindfulness area, though. So if you could drop your deuces elsewhere, that'd be nice. All right, I'll finish it there. Thanks. David. Uh, defending his not racist family members. How, how do you think that went, David? Horribly, actually. Mm, interesting. Why do you think that? I don't... <laughs> I thought it was, I don't know. People have been laughing at it. <laughs> he took an accusatory tone from the start, I think, and it put you on your heels. Yeah. I think that's what, what just happened. Oh, oh from me? Oh, oh my yeah. God. You? I, I didn't mean A little that. bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, apologies. Yeah. No, how I do was... you think dude did his pretty fucking condescending? <laughs> what? How, how do you think you did his pretty condescending? That was, yeah. Dude, imagine if that's you fucked like a, your girl like... and you were like, how was it? And she yeah, was like, yeah. how do you think you did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would it's, say it's amazingly, like always, I'd roll over and go to bed. What are you talking about? <laughs> nice. No it's, lack of confidence. It's very, it's very, <laughs> why do you think I pulled you over? And <laughs> <laughs> Biggest laugh I got all night, y'all. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> all right. You open it up, then. What do you want to say to him? Huh? I can't open it up. It's already open. What's up, baby? I like your, I like your balding pattern. That's one I can trust. Yeah. <laughs> I like that Do you shit. like how I didn't wear the hat this time? So yeah, no, I like it. It's confident. It. It's yeah. cool. You know what I mean? I feel like you're, you're a coach for a recently integrated Southern basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> and they're putting up numbers, and you're here for it. I trust, <laughs> I trust this man. What was that show? White Shadow? Do you remember that show? White Shadow? Uh, that's an old show. It's like a Nick at Night thing. Never mind. That's what I'm going to start calling Wiggers. <laughs> that's a white shadow right there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. I think you're fun. I uh, I, I think you, you practice a lot, but I think you do got to punch it up. The dad having no black friends thing, like I was waiting for like the, the other shoe to drop for like the, the, the punchiness of it. But I don't know where you were you trying to go with that necessarily. I think you lost this a little bit, too, on the, the therapy thing. The southern accent just being a racist accent could be fun. But like give us more examples yeah. of it. Fuck it. Rule of thirds. Just keep tagging that bitch. Chinese yeah. for sure can be a funny one but like give us a little bit more a little bit uh extra i like to i like to open on the juneteenth and that's fun maybe you do a chinese voice next time <laughs> <laughs> how do you think that went oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny you think it's gonna be southern but it's but it's chinese oh big time yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really funny I the like element that. of surprise <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think it's score wise man I, I think that bring, you bring it on. It's all good. <laughs> you have really good cadence and like you really power through. And I don't mean that like in a negative way. Like it felt like you really do have a good. Like, oh, I wanted to bounce after that second. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I really admire that you because a lot of people like a, like a joke doesn't get what they wanted and then they like 
crumble and you absolutely did not do that. And I think that is impressive, honestly. Um, that being said, uh, three. Damn. Whoa. What are you going to give it? Huh? I mean, I was going to say three, but like, I hear you say three <laughs> caught me off guard, dude. Wait, hold on. I, I, before we get out of here, I want to know, what, what is the necklace thing? What is uh, that? It's a, it's a Hamza. It's a Jewish symbol. I'm not even that religious, but oh, I got okay. it at my bar mitzvah. It's just been on my neck since then. Oh, okay. For sure. I thought it was like some spiritual thing. I mean, one could argue it's a, it's literally just a necklace that I just wear. No, for sure, for sure. I should uh, probably know more about what I'm portraying out in the world. <laughs> Dude, I was just trying to see your vibe. Are you like moon sign or moonshine? That's what I was trying to see. <laughs> you know, it's a Jewish symbol, but I'm not, I don't know. I don't uh, fucking that. hell yeah, man. <laughs> what are you thinking? Four and a half. All right, four and a half. All right, you didn't quite make the leaderboard, but thanks for doing it. Please come back. David, thank Here. you so much. Make some noise for him. It's not easy. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Are you guys ready for your fourth comic of the night? Fourth comedian. Make some noise for Alex Sklar. How's it going? How's it going? Um, I want to dress my accent up top so you guys don't have to guess. Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn. Yay. <laughs> you don't trust me? I was born in Russia. Uh, sorry about the war. I tried to stop them. Tweeted and everything. Tagged Putin. He never got back to me. <laughs> Now, when I first moved here, it was tough. I got picked on right away. And when I was little, I thought it was because I was an immigrant, didn't speak English. But now that I'm older, I know it's because I was a weird kid. Yeah, being a weird kid, that was tough. Being a weird adult, not that bad. <laughs> Just gotta own it. Like, I'm a weird dancer, it doesn't stop me. I was at a party once, busting a move, when a guy approaches me and he goes, you look like you're having so much fun. Bro, what are you on? I go, the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pull off these moves, a little bit of autism. <laughs> now, I do live in Brooklyn, uh, South Brooklyn, rent's a little cheaper, uh, but I realize you get what you pay for. I had a girl over once, and at the end of the night, I see her calling an Uber on her phone, and it was $50. I felt horrible, because I don't have $50 Uber dick. <laughs> I have like $3 Subway dick. <laughs> Ideally, next door neighbor dick, because in five minutes, you're back home after being disappointed. It's all about efficiency, guys, all about efficiency. Gotta appreciate what you have. I don't always do that. That's a bad thing. I always see what other people have that I don't have. Envy's bad. Like, I have a good job, but I see other people have, like, a better job. I have a wonderful girlfriend, but then I see someone else might have, like, a wife and kids already. I have, like, a normal dick, but then I watch porn, and every single one of those guys has a way better job. <laughs> In five minutes, he gets three jobs I wish I had. <laughs> Hand job, blow job, rib job. I hate my nine to five. <laughs> I want his 69. <laughs> He's getting paid for it, too. <laughs> now, I got to count my blessings. I'm actually a super lucky guy. I uh, get blessed a lot. I was uh, in a Hasidic Jewish neighborhood the other day, and I found a $20 bill on the ground. And I'm like, what are the odds everybody missed it except me? But then I picked it up, and it was actually a fake 20. Uh, and I hate to be that whiny guy, but that's got to be a hate crime. <laughs> so I took that 20 and donated it to Palestine. Full circle. Ooh, gross. Um, I, uh, I do like cash, though. Cash is good. Cash is king. Uh, I hate the fact that we have too many cash-only places in Brooklyn. Like, we're at a point where you guys can pay a hooker of a Venmo, but my favorite Chinese spot still won't take credit cards. I wanted to sesame chicken the other night, couldn't find an ATM, ended up paying for a hand job and asking for cash back. <laughs> the chicken was great. <laughs> the hand job, uh, too much duck sauce. <laughs> they called it dick sauce. All right, thank you so much, I'm Alex Sklar. <laughs> Alex Sklar, everybody. So Alex, how do you think that went? <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> The no, ups and downs. It was a roller coaster. I'm playing. I thought it was really. You're a silly, silly guy. I liked it a lot. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah. likable. Very likable. I like that. Uh, even you've moved. You're moved to Brooklyn, but you're still Russian with the track pants. But they're like Brooklyn oh, yeah. style track pants. I appreciate yeah. that. I found my style. And I stuck with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I do really funny. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I'll the fucking the much. three jobs thing. It's funny as hell. Really enjoyed. Are it. you really Russian? No, just for the joke. No, yeah, <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I just think it's funny that a Russian dude is just like, yeah, track pants, I found my style. I, <laughs> huh, how'd you get I'm there? the only one. <laughs> are you shocked stereotypes are real? <laughs> dude, 
It was fun. I think you're a fun, silly guy. I've heard some of those jokes from you go uh, way better. I think you were speeding through your delivery because you were a little bit nervous. But like, I've heard fifty dollar Uber dig, three three dollar Subway dig crush in this. I think in this room before. So I think I left out a part where I said it's just far from everything, and it just didn't click with people. They're like, why it was so expensive, the Uber. Mm -hmm, for so sure. I, so I think you knew it, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. Ah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think also like with the the accent joke up top when you first come out, like we can't really even place like I couldn't even place necessarily that you had the accent right away so I feel like that's a good like second joke maybe yeah I usually open with the riff so like people can tell that I have an accent but like three minutes I'm like rushing through it which is part of the reason some of the jokes I'm like kind of blazing through mm. yeah no I feel that shit yeah. that $20 Jewish uh, the, you throw that shit away bro that shit was ass dog uh, it's a newer joke I think the last tag sucked though because uh, people are probably are you guys touching about Palestine or something <laughs> Hey Brooklyn. <laughs> hey, 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 Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Are y'all touchy about Palestine? Hilarious. Where do y'all stand on it? I wonder. <laughs> Strong feelings? I doubt it. Have you, seen, have you seen Dimitri's story ever, bro? <laughs> no, no. It's always just the saddest thing I've seen that day. <laughs> if it's not funny, I mute it. <laughs> Fair you, you muted Dimitri's years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude. All right. Dude, what are you thinking? Uh, like I said, you, you're a likable dude. The jokes were good. You were just kind of speeding through them. They were delightfully racist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun time. Yeah. Yes. I, I really liked uh, the Venmo for a hand job cash back. Mm -hmm. That's, I like that a lot. Funny shit. Um, I have sad. a question, though. Uh, yeah, please. Which Atlanta hockey team? Is this Thrasher's reference? Yes. Ah, uh, cool. They're Jets now, right? Ilya Kovalchuk, dude. He's yes. one of you. Let's go. That is true. Uh, Ilya you could have Googled that afterwards. <laughs> no, no. I think there were other Atlanta hockey teams. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I thought that'd the be The Flames in the 80s, in case you didn't know. Yeah. All right. You look like Jeremy Allen White if he was mixed with an actual bear. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's yeah. funny. All right. In terms of the score wise, I mean, like, I didn't hate a lot of the jokes. I thought it was, you got a lot of fun tags. It was silly and goofy. I like that shit, but it wasn't going over well. I'm going to have to give that one a 4.5, man. Seven. Hell yeah. What you thinking? I'm going to go 5.3. 5.3. I respect There's it, always going to, one thing about me, there's always going to be a decimal on my scores. All right. Yo, we'll make some noise for Alex as he gets off the stage. You guys ready for our fifth comedian of the Thank night? Thank you very much. That's Alex again. Hell yeah. Banter, banter, banter. Banter, banter, banter. Can you read this? I can't read this. Banter, banter. All right. Uh, this is uh, Vivek. Make some noise for Vivek, everybody. <laughs> Might be not the Oh, there he is. Hell yeah. What's up, guys? Uh, I've been in a relationship for a long time. I've been married to my wife for a year. I've known her for five. And I've stopped doing anything spontaneous, all right? Especially in the bedroom. I do what I do, and it's never changing. All right, I'm going to explain why. The things I see people doing now terrify me, all right? You guys are disgusting. I think sexual fetishes have gone too far. I think some people are just not meant to come. <laughs> That's it. It's just not for them, you know? Uh, I'll explain. Like, if you need to tie a belt around your neck to the point of asphyxiation before you can come, maybe that's your body's way of telling you, bro, the sperm stays in. <laughs> you know? You do something else. You don't do that. You know, I'm scrolling TikTok way too much and seeing people go, so what if I need to date a woman that needs to beat me to within an inch of my life? That should be fine. And it's like, sometimes you're not getting kink shame. Sometimes that shame you should feel, <laughs> you know? Um, I really love watching anime. That's one of my favorite things to do. Anyone likes anime here? Yeah? Do you have a favorite anime? Just yell it out. Jojo. Do, how many people in your life would you show Jojo to? No one. No one. Yeah, that, that's shame you're feeling. <laughs> that's shame the Japanese exported right into your heart. You know what I mean? I get it. I, I feel the same shame. I think getting caught watching anime is the most embarrassing thing to get caught watching. You know? Like, if you get caught watching porn, at least people know why you're doing it. Every time I've gotten caught watching anime, there's like a giant baby on screen about to like kill a 14-year-old child. And I'm in tears. And it's like, why are you so emotional? And why does it say episode 360? 67. You know? It's like a clear, it's, it's a lot of context you need to understand that. 
I mentioned I'm married. A lot of my friends are starting to get married, which is cool. I love going to weddings. Weddings are really fun. What I really hate going to is bachelor parties, okay? I hate going to the bachelor parties. They're always planned by a dude who sucks, right? It's always a dude who sucks and doesn't know how to plan things. The worst is there's always like a strip club night, right? Some of you guys have been at the strip club night. I don't know how to be at a strip club. The last time I was at a strip club, I turned to my friends and I was like, it's cool that we're here together and horny. <laughs> and apparently you're not supposed to say that. It's just supposed to happen. <laughs> you know, it's weird. Um, I grew up in New Jersey and I grew up in a town where like Indians were just starting to come in. So it was like a really Christian town. And the weird thing about that is I had to learn about Christianity as it happened to me. Okay. Like some of you guys don't know what that means. I'm going to explain. Like it would just pop up in like random instances. Like I remember in high school, I was hanging out with one of my friends and he was like, dude, I really need to convince my girlfriend to have anal sex with me. That's what he said. I really need to do that. And I was like, what the hell? Why? I've never understood that, by the way. I've never understood asking your girlfriend for anal sex. I've never once had vaginal sex and been like, I deserve more. <laughs> That's an insane thought. But what he said is, no, I need to do that because she's Catholic, and if she, we have anal sex, she's still a virgin. And that's when things click. You're like, that's the most Roman Catholic thing in the entire world. Like, your God is cool with it as long as it sucks for your girlfriend, <laughs> is what he told me. Guys, thank you so much. I'm a big. Thank you. Yay! Yeah. What's up, guys? You, for, you deserve more. Let's just start there. Okay. You deserve the most. Thank you. Yeah, yeah of course. Anytime. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> With, in the context of that joke, that does feel a little weird, right? What do you mean? It's like that was, you're saying I deserve anal sex. Is that what that is? I was more of a riff. I didn't really okay. genuinely believe <laughs> okay, it, I okay, guess. Got it, got it. I don't really know your core like that. Fair you know enough, what I mean? I think enough. you I do you, deserve yeah. anal sex. Thank you. Thank you. He should have said that. I think he you earned that. it. Yeah, Demetrius thinks you earned it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. You really yeah. married? I'm really married. There's, there's How old three. are you? Wow. I am 29 years old. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Hell yeah. That, you look like fucking 23. You that look rocks. mad young. That rocks. Solid marriage then. Hell yeah. yeah. Respect it. I like, uh, I li I'll give you a weird compliment. I like your offhand. You're good oh, yeah. with your, <laughs> you're good with your offhand. He's got good body language. This is very fucking captivating while he's on stage. I think while you were up there, I'm not going to lie. You could have slowed down a good amount. Yeah, I feel yeah. like there was a lot you were trying to like get off, but like, I, I like the, I disagree. I like the speed. I think the faster you are, the funnier you or you are. I mean, it's three minutes, man. It's three minutes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Not genuine. Uh, but nah, episode 367, that was great. Yeah, but like yeah, after yeah, the yeah. anime thing, I thought you were just going like way, way, way too fast. And then if I'm being honest with you, I think the strip club bit is a little bit of a hack. I feel like we've all kind of heard the thing of like, we're at the strip club sure, and we're sure. horny together. You, you're, you're a good writer. You don't need that. You don't need that. Opening up with the people shouldn't come joke. That's fucking hilarious. That was really Thank good. You, you don't that. you don't need to horny with your friends <laughs> tag. Come on. We've been there before. I thought it was solid, man. That was great. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Why are y'all being weird to me right now? Everybody, <laughs> I feel like y'all are being weird to me right now. I thought you were very funny, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a six. I'm going 8.5. I liked Whoa, it a lot. I really thought that was funny. Is that yeah? Yeah. 8.8. Nice. 8.8. 8. 8. Hi. He said it was funny and he meant it. You're on the leaderboard, Vivek. All right, make some noise for him as he gets off stage. Keep clapping while we uh, bring up our sixth comedian of the night, which is going to be Brian Oyola, everybody. Is Brian here? Oh, there he is. Brian. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. My name is Brian, and I have low testosterone. Hi, Brian. <laughs> guys, I'm 31. Low testosterone. I just found out this week. You know, 31-year-olds, I, I try to Google up, you know, Google to get more, more educated on low testosterone, and there's nothing online for me. It's all chat rooms and message boards filled with horny 50-year-old men. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. 50-year-old men trying to get horny. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know what to do. It's like, I didn't get any of the good side effects, right? Like, one side effect I have is uh, sensitive and uh, swollen breasts. It's like I'm going through menopause, guys. What else do I have? I have uh, weak, uh, weak joints and uh, muscle loss. Guys, when I get out of a car, I make the same sounds an NFL defensive lineman makes after a snap. 
Maybe I should make the sounds after that. Okay. <laughs> uh, weight gain. Guys, I've gained so much weight. You know you're fat when Google Maps makes Taco Bell a shortcut on your phone. <laughs> no, right next to home and work. Marvel's modern technology. Yeah, I've gained so much weight. For me, sitting on the toilet is kind of like trying to land an airplane on a narrow one-way road. <laughs> it's possible, but no one wants to be around to see that. Yeah, I didn't get any of the good side effects, like, like shrunken testicles. Guys, I'd kill for shrunken testicles. No, just me. <laughs> Guys, my balls are so big, it's so inconvenient, man. For me, shrunken testicles would be like normal testicles. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, how about this? Uh, is it just me or do women with engagement rings look at other women with engagement rings the same way men look at other men's penises? Like, oh, wow, is that thing real? Ah, it's bigger than mine. Ah, I'd do anything for a bigger one. Oh, uh, you know what? Mine's big enough. I'll leave you with this, guys. A thousand bottles of baby oil. A thousand bottles. You know what? I, I couldn't help but think. I don't know if it's because I'm Hispanic, but God, that poor cleaning lady. <laughs> That's all Thanks, guys. Brian, everybody. <laughs> Brian is fat nuts. Give it up for him. I like that everyone knew the P. Diddy thing. I really thought that was, I was like, I wonder if they're going to get that. And most of you guys did. It's That's, the only thing happening. Right it is now. really the only thing happening. Hell yeah. Um, that, I, thought, uh, I thought that was funny. Yeah. I think you have a lot of really funny, like, I, you even said it, you're like, I should make the noise right now. And it's like, yeah, fucking make the noise right now. Yeah, you know why I mean? didn't you then just make the noise? Yeah, you could have still done it. I've been trying this joke the past three days, and it keeps bombing, and I keep thinking I should do the noise, but I don't know. <laughs> you got to do the noise, pal. You got to do the noise, bro. <laughs> yeah, if you, have, if you have a silly noise set up, I want a silly noise punchline. Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Jersey City, uh, coming up on two years in April. All right, hell yeah, man. Uh, uh, or not. All right. <laughs> Dude, look, I can't, I'm not going to lie. When you came up and said you had low T, I immediately got mad because your beard connects. I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, how much T do I have? Fuck. <laughs> his voice is deeper than mine. His, t and his fuck, goddamn nuts are so large. There's no, there's no way your T is low. You He's, probably have the most T. <laughs> it probably goes all the way around on the circle. So it's like you lapped everyone else and now you're back to low. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. If you say you have, having big nuts is inconvenient, Tell us how, you know what I mean? Because I want to hear, what's, what's, what's your truth, you know what I mean? How do you struggle with that? Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you know, it's never, it's never nice when your balls go into the toilet seat. That's not fun. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. I've, that's never once happened Wait, to me. Wait, your balls go into the toilet seat? In nah, the water, you mean? I just tried riffing it. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 it man. was just bad. All right. <laughs> That's fair, man. Listen, I don't want to be too mean to you because you're, uh, you're new. That was a little bit rough. But you know what? Fucking keep trying it. You know what I mean? Uh, just all the ones that people didn't laugh at, don't, don't try those ones anymore. <laughs> but keep being self-deprecating, though. That takes <laughs> balls for real. No pun intended. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, just at, like the jokes you have are really good setups. It feels like just each joke you have already, write two more lines, and then there'll be like funny jokes. You know what I mean? Like it feels like you can't, you got to a place where I was like, oh, you, we're at the funny place, and then you kind of just like moved on. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, you know, make make the damn noise. Yeah. If you had to make the noise right now, what would it what would it sound like? <laughs> be like. <laughs> that was something. That was something. No, that's not what fat people sound like when they get out of cars. Well, then you do the noise. <laughs> I'll Everybody think of a noise and do it. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I'll do the noise because I know what it sounds like. It's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise. Yeah, that was the damn noise right there. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even listen to the guys who had cars for. That's crazy. That, that sounds more like going into the car. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Nice. Fair enough. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, yeah, man. You got anything you want to say before we get about here? Nah. I only got one thing to say. <laughs> 3.3. Nice. 3.3. I'm going to start doing numbers that make it so that the numbers end up round just for later. So uh, uh, 3.7. 3.7. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a 2. 
Oh, but I like you though, and that's important. I, I think you just gotta get your confidence up just a little bit, and uh, you'll be you'll be all right. Yeah. All right. Make some noise for Brian, everybody. All right. You guys, ready for your sixth comedian of the night? We're halfway through the show. You guys got energy? Hell yeah! Make some noise for me, and let's keep that energy going for Alexis Cristaldi, everybody. What are we doing, you guys? Fucking good? Feeling great? You guys, I'm thriving right now through a breakup, am I right? <sighs> it's been, honestly, best bit of weight loss that I've had in a really long time, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if it's because I'm just like eating once every 10 days. I don't know if it's the water weight from all the water works, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm down about 10 pounds, so I'm really, really happy about that. I, I personally think that like Weight Watchers should get in on this ish, you know what I mean? One of those, one of those programs. Buy one meal a week, live off that bad boy for like seven days, you know what I mean? Call it like Jenny Breaks Up With Craig, some shit like that. <laughs> For my frugal fatties also, you could do the same same type of plan. But it's hard, you guys. I, uh, I'm getting to the point with my, like, with my weight gain journey where I'm too self-conscious to be an obesity stereotype. Like if I go to a fast food place and they fuck up my order, gone are the days where I can go inside and face that 16 year old in his judgment, you guys. I can't. I have too much dignity to do that to myself. He's just looking me up and down. He's just like, this fat bitch. She needs all 10 nuggets, are you serious? <laughs> me at the entrance like Cartman, I'm like, hey, where's my honey mustard shot? <laughs> I refuse, I am not doing that. And I am, I'm trying to lose weight, I, uh, I am trying to lose weight. I've been giving a lot of head in order to do that. <laughs> you guys, it's a full protein diet. Don't you know that? Nut, cheese. <laughs> little bit of peanut butter on the balls, cause I am that bitch, you know what I mean? My name is Alexis Cristaldi, you guys. Thank you so much. Woo, Alexis Cristaldi. Peanut butter on the on the ball. Are you licking it or yeah, is it just? Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I thought it was for smell, maybe. No, no, because I'm that bitch. Because you put like when people like molest dogs. It was a bestiality joke. You know oh, I mean? you, you know, know how when people, you try to fuck your dog. You know when you try to fuck your dog, Austin, and you no. put peanut butter on its on your balls. <laughs> Yo, my, my dog puts peanut butter on my balls. <laughs> On, on his balls. Somebody, <laughs> he wants me to lick him. Is this here? Somebody I, thought that, was, I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> no, not the foghorn. Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> My dog puts peanut butter on his balls, so I lick it off, is what I was trying to say there. Yeah. <laughs> Zero for whoever that was. That's right. Yeah. You guys don't love dogs? God. You guys don't love dogs? We're trying to love dogs over here, you guys. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's fucking get into it. Alexis, I love yeah. you. I think you got to I think you got to just change around the wording for some of this stuff cuz yeah. like the waterway and crying thing could be funny, but you just got to play with it to like make that thing hit a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. I like Jenny Lee's Craig, but there's a little bit of a, a little bit of fat on it beforehand. Yeah. And uh, I think the like can't call out fast food workers when your order is wrong is so funny, but I <laughs> just want you to just make it just a little bit more personal to like reframe it with just a little bit more emotion from you and I think it would go uh, a lot harder. Her. Also, I just I think you said getting head instead of giving head. Did I mishear that? I might have I might have fucked it up. So, make a make a clap if I if I misheard. Okay, so you said the right thing. I'll kill myself mm. after. Yeah, no, if it, no, afterwards. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's it's the okay. right word. I have to, Why wait? Huh? Why wait? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring me my sword. Let's go. Let's go. All right, <laughs> let's go, Twitch. You ready for a fucking seppuku? Let's go. <laughs> let's go, dude. Yeah. I've been watching Shogun on FX. I can't wait to fucking rip out my. Dress. <laughs> <laughs> you know they always say that TV like influences like mass shootings or whatever. I wonder if there's an uptick in. Seppuku right now. <laughs> 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 
Damn. Am I right? Thank you. Had I'm, the anime I'm, I'm, reference already. People are already in the mood. Yeah. I like Cartman as a punchline. That's what I was going to say. I, the Cartman voice was good. And Me after too. that, you seemed like you got more comfortable. Uh, do, yeah. do you do voices all the time? Um, I did improv and I love character voices. Mm. It's easier being a thing or a thing, a per, like somebody else rather than, you know what I mean? It helps with Absolutely. the Absolutely. I hate myself and too. That one, that, that, <laughs> that will like, so that joke is part of my tight five. So I feel more comfortable doing it. The Jenny one is like one, a newer joke that I uh. have. So I was a little bit more nervous, but I feel like it works better at the beginning leading into the weight loss joke. So that's why I started with it. Yeah, that's good. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I'm a, I like, there was some, like, the Carmen line's really funny. Getting head thing was really funny. There's a few dips in the middle. Uh, 6.5. 6.5. What are you thinking? Oh, let's go with 6.6. Uh, 6. Take that, dude. 6.6. 6. 6. 6. 6.4. Sorry, but it's got to even. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go 6. I'm going to go 6. All right. Well, you didn't quite make the. Wait, did you make the leaderboard? 18. Fucking 19. Oh, you're tied on the leaderboard. You're tied with Luke. Make some noise for Alexa. Fuck yeah. Thanks, oh, yeah. guys. All right. Thank you, Alexis. Next comedian, number 8. Make some noise for Lawrence Reese, everybody. Is Lawrence here? Oh, there, yes. Guys, keep it going as he makes his way to the stage. How y'all doing? Make some noise for your host one more time. Ain't gonna lie, life's been weird lately. I ain't gonna lie, when I first started comedy, I thought comedy would take me out the hood. It don't just take me out of my hood, it takes me to a worse hood. <laughs> like, uh, and back in the day, when I would be in the hood, all I had to do was be a hood nigga, and now I gotta be funny now. And these niggas is not having a good time. I recently did a show in an apartment that I robbed before. <laughs> and this shit weird, cause it's, the hardest part about it is acting like I never been there. <laughs> Cause the nigga, it was a great show. The guy's a great host, but he taking me places in the house that I already know where it's at. <laughs> He's like, yo, the bathroom's there. I'm like, that's crazy. It still is. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, yo, the room is there. If you need to stay there, yo, help yourself to anything. I'm like, huh? Did that already? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we went to somebody's crib with their own shit. That's kind of what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not a gang member. Never been a gang member. Grew up around a lot of gang members. I never did it because I just think being a gang member is kind of gay. It's a little shit they do that's a little homo to me. Like, you gonna shoot a nigga over a color? <laughs> 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 the fuck? <laughs> Who are you, the fashion police nigga? The fuck? <laughs> Pow, you're wearing red. Um, <laughs> Pal, you're wearing blue. Nigga, you gay as shit, man. <laughs> they do a lot of gay shit when you really look at it. Like, one nigga, like, I, I got my brother's a gang member. And, <laughs> pause, but my brother's a gang member. <laughs> you know, gay shit, you know. My brother's a gang member. I asked him, like, what do y'all do when y'all not ruining the black community? <laughs> and he was like, yo, on Sundays we get together, we go to the park and drink mimosas. I'm like, y'all niggas gay as hell. <laughs> That's some gay ass shit. Uh, let me see, how much time I got left? One minute. One minute? All right, thanks, dick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got shit on somebody, nigga, what the fuck? Uh, let me see, uh, I, I grew up with a lot of anger issues. I always got anger problems, you could tell. And um, I know where I get my, I get mine from my dad. That's where I get it from. But one time, this is where it stems from. I was in school and I threw a chair at my teacher, you know, regular shit. <laughs> Who ain't done that, right? And then I thought my, my dad had my back because he had to go to school and talk to my teachers about it. This nigga ended up calling all my teachers a bunch of bitch ass niggas. <laughs> so now they put me in anger management classes. And you think that anger managers would help you. You know how much it sucks to be in a class room full of other niggas with anger asking you why you're angry? This is why. <laughs> this is why you're making me fucking angry. Cause he's like, oh, what makes you angry? People like you. You think I'm angry? Cause I no, I know why I'm angry, and I want to make you know it why I'm. Angry. I'm gonna throw a chair at you. And I thought it was gonna help me out, but I'm learning new ways to be angry. There's a nigga in there for stabbing someone. I'm asking him questions. 
<laughs> I'm like, how'd you sneak a knife in school? Teach me your ways. There's a nigga in there with a gun. I'm like, all right, I'm going to keep you on my side. You know, I'm not going to be angry towards you, you know? <laughs> they thought they was going to help us out. They, they really put a game together, and we not gay, you know? So, all right, I think that's my time, right? Yeah. Right. Guys, give it up for Lawrence. Damn, that was really funny. I, I've I've also never been a gang member, so we I, related on that one. I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> you talk too fast to be a gang member. Mm. <laughs> is that is that the only reason why? No, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> <laughs> no, for seriously, super funny shit, dude. I have no notes. Really liked it. Or. You all right, man? I'm doing fine. Y'all doing good? All right, yeah, I'm doing good. You looking for the fucking knife in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, hack. <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, no, just let's just call shit gay. That's comedy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fucking this hey, dude's a genius hey, hey, over here. That's, that's how they do oh it. Oh my hey, god, nobody do it. Never let's, called anything gay before. Let's not have one of those kind of shows. <laughs> right. I know Lawrence. We're chill, dude. Right. We can fucking go back and forth. I don't exactly. Care. White guy. You don't, you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's me. That's who I am. That is what I do. I'm it's, not gonna lie. Yeah, I thought he was right. talking to me, dude. <laughs> talking no, to I'm me. just talking to half of you. That's it. All right, for sure. Sure, hell yeah, dude. All right, no, I thought it was fun, man. I thought it was fun. I think uh, I got the only thing that was a little bit rough was the dad calling teachers bitches. Was a, it took a little? Bit. I think it might have been just because of checking for the time. But I feel like mm -hmm. it's fun. The premise of uh, being in an apartment that you robbed before is hilarious. Yeah, that was yeah, great. I think they could have given the, you a little bit more. That shit is on crazy because I can't even say the actual word here. He actually said. It's the F word. I, I wanted to be nice to the gay people. Whoa. <laughs> you know. That's crazy. <laughs> well, this took an odd turn. Uh, <laughs> That's what really happened. Let's all take know. a moment and sit and reflect. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah no, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Please. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to go do Should we just go into scores? Yeah, uh, I thought it was super funny. Uh, 8.5. Whoa, okay. okay. 8.5. I thought it was really funny, too. I'm going to I'm gonna give it 7.5. All right. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go get a fucking line up there. Jesus. I will do 8.5 as well as to go. keep it the round numbers. <laughs> All right. For sure. Now you, that's a, So you're on the leaderboard, by the way. Make some noise. Guys, for give it up for Lawrence. 16, 24.5. All right, hell yeah. All right, right, say something while I find a new name. Banter, banter. banter How's everybody? Banter, banter, banter. We all still good? Yeah. Who's ready for comedian number nine? <laughs> Guys, I found one. Give it up for Chico Mantis. Hey. I feel like I got the type of look that if you see me walking down the street, you probably assume you're in a pretty safe neighborhood. But sometimes people see me coming down the block, they cross the street just to rob me. <laughs> yeah, I'm fully aware when I'm getting dressed, I'm not making any kind of fashion statement. It's much more like a question, and the answer is always nope. <laughs> You know, like, I don't know how to shop for clothes. You know, like these pants make my dick look small. Because you can pretty much see it. <laughs> yep, that's all of it. Now, in reality, you guys, I have a horse cock. <laughs> yeah, it's mounted right above my fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's a lot cheaper to taxidermy the bottom half of the animal. You know, for the same price, you could get a single deer head or a whole haul of hooves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't have a great fashion sense, but sometimes people get mad at me for my outfits. You know, like one time this lady yelled at me for wearing a do-rag and Jordans to a funeral. <laughs> but in my defense, the dress code said black attire. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was all just misunderstanding, you know? Because I get along with everyone, you know, all the races. Like, I love me a good Hispanic Uber driver. But who are they always on the phone with? <laughs> I always ask them, excuse me, but can you please be a little more present? Can you live in the moment of being my personal driver to boozy brunch? It's fucked up, you know? <laughs> but it, uh, that's cool. I'm down with the Latinos. You know, I love their food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other day, I tried lengua tacos for the first time. Anyone ever have that? Yeah, if you haven't, 
It's uh, lengua is Spanish for tongue, cow tongue. That's the meat that's inside. They're, they're delicious. Uh, next day, not as fun. The worst shit of my life. I, I have to say, that was the first time I didn't enjoy Mexican tongue in my ass. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I'm Chicho. Uh, <laughs> you took some big swings, dude. <laughs> Here's the thing. That's... Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing what's, about what's what we thing? just saw. <laughs> it's it's race, racial, racist, whatever. But he was nervous, which is <laughs> funny to be both of those at the same time. I, I had a, a George. And because uh, because black people, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Goddamn. But That's down crazy. down with Latinos made me laugh really hard. No, but I'm down with Latinos. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure they're down with you. It's true. <laughs> oh, that sounded no. like his accent. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you definitely have a Latino's facial hair, that's for sure. That's a cholo head. I got my shit from the same dude. We go to the same barbershop. All right, I'll kill myself. Uh, let's, let's let's talk about uh, your set, I guess. Um, the small dick shit was a little bit weird. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like the black attire thing. I thought that was fun. I, 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 I too thought it was very humorous. But. I imagine you wearing it, for sure. You got the same vibe of that. You know that white dude on TikTok who does African dances? <laughs> na, 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 na. No, no. All right. I'll he was dressed like a, a, a white shadow. What, were, what was it called earlier? I forget. A white shadow? I f never mind. It was from earlier. No, we all forgot. Okay. It doesn't matter. That's fun. You're also so smiley that you're immune to roasts. We're turned against me. I cannot say anything bad about you ever. He's the greatest comedian of all time, and his penis is quite large. I bow to you, humble sir. <laughs> We got anything in there? I, I think Will kind of summed it up. That <laughs> I like that you kept going with it. I like that you were like, oh, hey, this this joke about black people didn't work. Let's try Latinos now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the transitions for yeah. me. That's what it was. Went, he, no, but uh, Mexicans. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> His set list went small dick, black people. <laughs> transitions. Um, <laughs> how do you think that went? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was tough. What do you think? I don't know. I feel like his khaki's been getting tighter the longer he's been up here. He's <laughs> <laughs> like been shrinking on his body, it's man. It's getting hard. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest. How long have you been doing it? Uh, two years. Okay. I'm going to be nice, <laughs> but I'm going to let you know that, that that was a three for me. Yeah, I'm going to go three also. Yeah. First time, no decimal, I will go for three. <laughs> three for three. Someone All right. said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give him 3.1? Is that what I'm hearing? He changed his mind. <laughs> you think he deserves 3.1? Guys, give All it up right. for Chicho, everybody. No, good shit, dude. Oh, yeah. Later. Yeah. We're getting to the point where I have to draw a lot of names Wait, now. That's crazy. His name is Chicho? <laughs> Yeah, spelled? dude, were you not listening? Yeah. No, I know, but, like, that's not Hispanic? All right, I don't know. I don't meet a lot of white chichos is all I'm saying. <laughs> Let's keep the show rolling. You guys ready? <laughs> guys, uh, next comedian, uh, give it up for Danish. 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 <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Dude. Danish back bull, your presence is requested in the back. I also would like a Danish. <laughs> Danish back bull, everybody, give it up. Sorry. Hello, my bad. I was. Am I uh? Am I talking to a bunch of Americans right now? Goddamn right. <laughs> yeah. Is that a vibe? <laughs> you guys feel that energy right now? No. You guys want to do the Pledge of Allegiance together? <laughs> Would that be a vibe? <laughs> Man, I want American pride. You know, I miss, I miss that, bro. <laughs> I miss that vibe, you know? <sighs> I know, America, we're not where we should be. We're not. You know, people keep thinking, like, killing the president is a one-man job. <laughs> it takes two people to pull up a TV 
<laughs> but they're going out solo to kill the president? <laughs> Come on, bro. How soft have we gotten, you know? Pick up a migrant, bro. What are we doing? Get this done, bro. What, what can we do, man? I, uh, you know, and I, I want money. You guys fuck with that? <laughs> I fuck it. I want money, bro. You guys like capitalism? <laughs> no? You want to you switch it? You, you want what do you want to do? You, you want to switch it to Lazy's Fair? <laughs> Remember Lazy's? Yeah. The fun ass days learning about Lazy's, dude. <laughs> I think I think we like capitalism, okay? I do. I think we just don't like late stage capitalism. Nobody likes playing Monopoly at the end of the game when they don't own shit. <laughs> That's not fun. It's a very torturous game. At some point, your best option is going to jail. That's where we're at. It's cool, bro. That's why I want money, bro. I want fucking. I want influence. You see these dudes, Elon, bro. That's my fucking, that's my guy. I stopped, well, I stopped fucking with him when I realized that he was faking Asperger's. I didn't like that. He knew being a regular white dude wasn't going to be interesting enough. So he's like, I'm a fake Asperger's. And I know he was faking Asperger's because no one with Asperger's gets a hair transplant. <laughs> That's not something they're thinking about. <laughs> they count everything but follicles, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, bro. Elon's a tough dude, bro. I think I, I think I got a light for sure, bro. That, it just feels like, bro, felt like four minutes, you know? What's up, boys? How you guys doing? What's up, Donish? How you doing, bro? I'm What's doing good? good. What's this good? Is... Atlanta legend, bro. That's right. His set's over. Make some noise for him. <laughs> yeah. Everybody give it up for Donish. Yeah. What's up, man? I could, I could listen to you guys both talking and just, like, fall asleep to it. Like, it'd be so pleasant. We do. We have an ASMR podcast. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. talking about any. Did you guys know each other before this? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, cool. Yeah, it's my boy, bro. Oh, wait, cool. Do you, don't do don't you ever claim talk him? to us like that, bro. <laughs> you claim him? Is this your boy? Is that your boy? Hell yeah. That's your boy? Yeah. You Why does this sound like prison? What we're talking about right now? <laughs> No, 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 no. I have my free will, everybody. That's important for me to say, I guess. Mm. Uh, is it okay, Donish? Can I say that? <laughs> bro, this is your thing. You know what I mean? I came to your thing. True. I would never. I would never. <laughs> it's my thing. It's me and Austin's thing. It's not his thing. We work really hard on the thing. Yo, Will. Really you're, hard on the thing. Will, you're in control right now. Yeah, look. <laughs> He's not in control. <laughs> we are in control. I'm in a little bit of control. Uh, Dude, fuck, he's gaining power. What do we bro. do? Fuck, bro, we're out of control. Oh, no. This is my first time coming to the club. It's it is very cool, bro. Congrats Dude. on what Thank you all man. Thank this you very amazing. much. Very cool. And that's, that's how you gain up. points. That's how you gain favor right there, actually. That's no. positive score for you now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, oh, there's this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing that I said that, bro. <laughs> See, man, I've been in the game so long, I just operate this way. <laughs> Subconsciously, I knew. Damn, bro, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> good shit, man. Yeah, yeah you have, you know what you're doing. You go, you opened up with like such a long like pause, and I was like, where's this going? And then you really nailed it. Really, I really, oh, thanks, man. really enjoyed it. Uh, it feels like I would. Uh, like to watch you do a longer set honestly like it feels like you have the vibe and like energy you could I, I would love to watch you do like like 20 30 but not right now but like at some point you know oh, okay yeah yeah uh, that's that's cool yeah I'm gonna give you a point for every time you said vibe on stage so it's a high score right there I'm gonna go I'm gonna go eight I think you're gonna go wow. eight. hell yeah what are you yeah. thinking wow dude we're gonna go 8.9 Eight point nine, dude. That's fucking sick. I thought it was funny. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a seven. I like your energy. Wow! Your vibe, wow! <laughs> this is getting crazy, dude. 
<laughs> good, so great. Wait, wait, what'd you Can do we hang out later? I would love to hang out this with you. This is hilarious. I'm Genuinely. Here. I'm here. I would love to just go about life with you kind of like near me. Is that cool? <laughs> uh, 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 it can be your life, by the way. I can be, I can enter yeah, into your Yeah, you sphere. gotta be near me, oh, wait, Yeah, that's fine. I got a child to attend to. You have a child? <laughs> yeah. Is he yours or are you just attending to a child? Bro, bro, I have a, I have a child. <laughs> Could you guys, do I have parent energy? No. <laughs> no. You can't. Came in late from being asked somewhere Dude, else. Not only did he come in late, the closer he got to the stage, he got slower. <laughs> yeah. No, no hustle. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. How Dude. old is your child? Bro, he's about to be six months. Oh, cool. It's like a fresh yeah. thing. That's cool. How do you how do you feel about that? It's sick, dude. Uh, I'm on. I, I took a little bit of mushrooms today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right after acting class. You know? <laughs> And it's it's a good time, bro. Uh, I, I, this shit ain't never going to stop. You know what I mean? God, I hope it does. We're cooling out here, you Dude, know? So what days do you have custody? <laughs> <laughs> bro, unfortunately, I'm unemployed. I have custody every day. Hell yeah. That's my life. Dude, I fucking love you, man. I love you. You're on the leaderboard. You got to get the fuck up out of here. All but right, you're cool. great. You're on the leaderboard. All Hell right. yeah. Make Peace. some noise for Danish, everybody. Yeah. Danish. Thank All you right. for coming. We got I hope three your more, kid's right? okay, by the way. I don't. I hope he's not. A, were you coming from taking care of the child? Nah, dude. You do shrooms with a baby. It's so lit. I don't like doing shrooms when you're a cat because it's too weird. I can't imagine a baby. Um, it's chill. You speak baby. <laughs> it's, it's like Rugrats. <laughs> oh wait, guys. Eleventh comedian coming to the stage. Uh, please make some noise for Ethan Mead. Whoa, whoa. What were you doing back there? Uh. Uh, I was trying to steal drinks from your refrigerator. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, hi, I'm very masculine. Ah. Uh, very masculine, manly man, which means I get the shittiest compliments ever conceived. Because it's not good. None of the masculine traits, when you say them out loud, sound good. Girls to me are like, oh, you have such a thick neck. <laughs> You such a hairy back. Your feet are so also hairy. Oh wow. And it's like, ma'am, run. <laughs> run away. I'm scary. What are you doing here? You're making me sound like an ogre. Get out of the fucking swamp. Where's your survival instinct? I'm a fucking freak of nature. Thanks for reminding me I'm an instrument of war. I don't I don't know what to do. I'll try not to of mice and menu during sex, I guess. <laughs> Squeezes the lady too hard, she goes <laughs> like toothpaste. Another compliment I get a lot is uh, I'm weirdly attracted to you. That needs to stop. That's enough of that, I think. You went out of your way to hurt my feelings. You could have just said, I'm attracted to you, clocked out early, gone home for the day, read up on how to be nice to people, but instead you swerved across three lanes of traffic to be like, you actually are not that hot at all. Weirdly attracted. What does that mean? Do your toes get hard instead of your nipples? What the fuck? Just say I remind you of your father and call it a day. You don't got to say all that <laughs> shit. Uh, I'm, a, well, I'm a white boy. You know I like spicy food. Am I right? I love, I love New York with all the spicy food. I've also had diarrhea every day for the last 10 years. It's very awesome. I, I don't know what it is about white boy DNA, but we feel compelled to impress old Asian ladies with our spice tolerance. I'm just like, yeah, I had Puerto Rican cousins, so she's like, cracker? I do not care at all. 1395, please. As I shit my guts out later, I'm just like, fucking showed her, idiot. <laughs> you stupid bitch. It's so cool. I don't know what it is. I, I think it's pretty funny that white boys love spice so much that we invented America. I think that's funny. That we got here, asked the natives, like, do you guys have spice? And they're like, not really. We're like, okay, war forever. 100 years of war, I'm realizing. And then we made a bunch of good colleges so that immigrants would come here with spice. <laughs> And now I'm within 20 feet of tandoori shrimp at all times. So, God bless the USA. I'm done. That's it. Ethan Mead. Holding it down for the white boys, dude.
Don't say that. Don't say that. No, and not holding it down for the white boys is what I meant I to guess say. Not. Thank you. Yeah, of course. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? That's good. You've run out of questions to ask me at this point. Yeah, I really have. Yeah. I know. I know everything about you. I've come here so many times. Yeah, and I enjoy it most of the times. Well, maybe the rest of us would like to learn. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It, there Will, is an audience, you know. Yeah. Will, what do you have to ask? What do you have to ask this man right here? I'm sorry. I didn't think you were curious. I'm sorry. No, it, no, it's okay. Um, I don't. I don't have any questions. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought it was pretty good. Will, I thought you were in control. Come on. I don't know how all this started, <laughs> but yes, I am. I'm in control. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to say from here, to be honest. Uh, that was fun. You're super charismatic. I feel like you can kind of just say whatever you want. You know what mm. I mean? We're fucking captivated as I hell. I worked really hard on those jokes. <laughs> 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 yeah? Hell That's yeah. Funny. I like yeah. Of Mice and Menning somebody as like yeah, a Yeah, that was my favorite yeah. line. That's I a really you. fun Thanks, thing. I think the, uh, I don't know, weirdly attractive thing I did. I, it didn't really hit like super hard here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's fun though i like your, i liked it i like your prose <laughs> i think you, you you read things so that's cool how many times have been called weirdly attractive three that he ex knew the exact number so <laughs> fast yeah one person or three people uh no three separate people mm. and i did have sex with two of them <laughs> Yeah. What happened? What happened the third time? My mom. Oh, nice, dude. That's why you come to the flop house, everybody. This guy fucks his Shit mom. Shit like that. <laughs> Wait, I don't. I mean, I yeah. don't fuck her. Sorry. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fucking yeah, dude. I don't know. Well, I'll give it. I'm gonna give it a seven. Eight. Seven point seven. Seven. Ethan Mead, everybody. Seven points. Did seven. he make it? Did he make it? You know I'm bad at math, dude. 22.7. He didn't make it, but make some noise for Ethan Mead as he gets off the stage. <laughs> and go Braves. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys ready for your, uh, your second to last comedian of the, of the night? Yeah? All right. Well, put your hands together right now. Oh, he's won before. Make some noise for Gabe Corser, everybody. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How we doing? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm from New York. Anybody else from New York? Nice. Yeah. I, I should say I'm from upstate New York. Yeah. People get pissed. Dude. I've had to start clarifying that because whenever say whenever I say I'm from New York here, it turns into like a stolen valor video. Everyone's just like, Oh, you're from New York. What middle school did you go to? Who, who's the principal there? Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's tough, dude. I feel like I shouldn't have to clarify. I don't have the vibe of someone who grew up in New York. Like, I'm not tough enough to be from here. I was walking on the sidewalk, and I stepped around a group of pigeons, and I said, oh, my bad, <laughs> to, to the pigeons. That's the softest shit I've ever heard. You know, and it came out of my own mouth, so I, I get it. I'd be mad if I moved to my city as well. You know? <laughs> uh, I've also never been in a fight, which I feel like contributes to my lack of toughness. And you know, I'm 24 now. I feel like I missed the boat on getting into a fight. Like any fight I get into now, it's not gonna be noble. You know, like I don't have any bullies that I can stand up to. The only bullies I have in my life are like the cops and they're pretty undefeated against guys like me. <laughs> you know? I've been thinking about picking fights with non-binary people. <laughs> not cause I have like a problem with them just cause if I lose, I get to make it sound like I got jumped. <laughs> He's like, they were kicking my ass. <laughs> they would not stop. You know? like, how many people was it? Like, don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> yeah. um, I recently learned about castrados. Anybody hear about those before? Oh, nice. Cool. They have those in Russia? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, there, it's a type of singer popular in like the 1800s. It's when you like uh, castrate a young boy before he goes through puberty so his voice doesn't drop so he can still hit high notes. And I was just thinking like, how sexist of a community do you have to be to just be like, women singers? No, thanks. I'll stick to my boys with no balls. <laughs> <laughs> like, miss me with that gay shit. Like, why would I listen to women talk when I have boys with no balls? <laughs> yeah, that's a that one's a thinker. It took a it took a second. <laughs> you guys ever see the the headlines for when someone gets caught with child porn? It's always like the maximum, like the most anyone's ever had. It's like a unit of data you've never heard of. 
just like caught with 11 zeta bytes of child <laughs> pornography. Like, what the hell? You know? <laughs> they had to invent a new unit to describe how much this dude had. But I guess it's like the same charge no matter how much you have. So it'd be silly not to go big. <laughs> That would almost be like weirder news if somebody came up to you and was like, dude, did you hear Trevor from high school got caught with a gig of child porn? You're like, that's like less than Candy Crush. What, what was he doing? <laughs> All right, that's my time. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Gabe Corser, everybody. Bro, that was, that was very funny. Thank you. I liked it a lot. Appreciate it. I had, oh, do you think that the, the boys knew that they were going to get their balls cut off? Because if so, why would they sing beforehand? Mm. Like I they, mean, they probably didn't have much of a choice. Mm. It was I feel like, like, but I feel like if I was a boy in that era, I would just pretend to be like the worst singer mm. ever until it was like past castration era. Yeah, I wonder if it was like a lucrative profession. Mm. I bet like you made your family some money if you became a good singer. Yeah. We should contemplate this more. They're not liking it that much. Yeah, but maybe we should. <laughs> What's there not to let? The balls are getting yeah. cut off. What is there not to laugh at about yeah. that, you guys? If, okay, if, if you could get your balls cut off to make you better at comedy, would you do it? No. no. <laughs> I do one. So, you do one? Yeah. And that's I why mean, he's going to make it and you're not, Will. Right? You're right. That's why you're Tom not Green made it. Do what it takes. Yeah. yeah that's I like so it. sad because we have helium. You could just <laughs> <laughs> as high as you want for a little bit. Yeah, a little while. now you're just doing comedy, being like, anyway, daddy's weird. <laughs> no, weirded. in my world, your voice stays the same, but you get better at comedy because that's the equivalent in the singing world. Oh yeah, then cut them off. I don't. Oh, wait, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Welcome back, Will. Yeah, I have no notes. I thought it was funny. What did you think? Damn. Huh? Oh, I thought it was fucking great. I thought the second half of your set was like some of my favorite of the night for sure. The first half was a little bit rough with the upstate shit, and the, but they weren't giving you enough. On my bad to pigeons, that's hilarious. <laughs> Cops are undefeated. Yeah. That's also hilarious. You could you could have gave them a little bit more on it. <laughs> Non-binary ass being, I don't know. We've we've heard the plural thing, but you know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Right. I don't hate it. I'm not saying Thank get you. rid of it. I thought it was great. I enjoyed it. Yeah, that was gonna be my only note. Um, yeah, dude, funny shit. Thank you. A lot of biracials are going bleaching. Is this something going on yeah, in our dude, community? Some in the water, yeah. <laughs> some of it is bleaching. You're in the next. water. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't <laughs> want it, dude. I'm terrified. Uh, I don't know what to say anymore other than that was funny. And oh, you know what? I'll say something. You do kind of look like somebody from New York. Do I? Yeah. I feel like I have a pretty, maybe if we got to know each other a little bit more, I, I feel like I'm pretty gregarious. Like, I don't give, like, tough, like, jaded New Yorker like I grew up here. You want to use a word that we know? <laughs> <laughs> my, bad, my, bad, my bad I'm a happy guy But then again I don't know shit I'm from Georgia bro So I, I saw that I was like yeah. He kind of looks like He's from New York yeah, his yeah. fingernails are painted. The hair is. Yeah, I guess I've assimilated pretty well. Yeah, mustache, very Brooklyn, one hundred percent. One hundred percent feels very much. Yeah. All right, maybe Hell I'll switch yeah. some things around. Yeah, I don't know. Change my look a little bit. You got corduroy on, baby. You're yeah. from. <laughs> you're from Williamsburg. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, you can rip off the Carhartt logo if you want to. I don't give a fuck. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh shit! Wait, that's was so that funny. what that was? <laughs> and you took it off? <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. Yeah, on... If you sniped that, that's crazy, dude. Carhartt <laughs> and the corduroy. That's the fucking. That's he was working so hard in it, dude, that that's it came off. <laughs> that is a this is a union man here that we're talking to. Dude, that's what you do. You evict a Puerto Rican family, then you go buy some corduroy and Carhartt, and then you put that <laughs> shit on. That's what it means to be in Brooklyn nowadays. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys aren't laughing, but that's what happened. <laughs> 8.5. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think? 7.9. 8.5. Dude, are seven. you doing the decimals because you saw Demetrius at the cash register, like, fucking up the bills? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, as soon as you did that, I was like, he knows he's Look, bad at math. <laughs> I had an opportunity. I had an opportunity to use decimals, so <laughs> God damn it, I took it. Dude, I'm going to go. I'll go 8. I liked it. I liked oh, it. Yeah. So I think you're on the leaderboard. I just have to do math again. 24.4. Oh, yeah, you're on it. You're on it. Hell yeah. Thank you. All right, Gabe sick. Corser. And then, guys, who's ready for the final comedian of the night? We have one more. Oh, did you not pull it? Was no, I did. It was, this, it? it was this. It was this. Oh, okay. I was waiting for you to build it up. All right. Yeah, let's build it up again. Yo, $230 is on the line. Come on. Are you guys ready for your final comedian of the night? Put your hands together right now for Sharif Hassan, everybody. Hey, thank you, guys. 
uh, I got my first death threat recently, which is exciting, I think. Um, it's for doing stand-up, so it feels like a real achievement in my book, <laughs> you know? Um, I made a joke about Palestine and Israel. You can assume which side I made fun of <laughs> and which side got offended. It was the same side. <laughs> Go figure. Um, I, got a, I got a comment from a uh, fave Swifty 06. Taylor Swift fan, I'm assuming 18 years of age. Comment said, hey terrorist, straight to the point, love it. <laughs> really like it. They said, why don't you try doing stand up in Gaza? Yeah. And I responded, that's the plan. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> If only, <laughs> let me, you know? And then I added, maybe one day, maybe Taylor could open for me. <laughs> Who knows? A few hours later, I got a DM from Face with the 6 I opened it to, hey, terrorist, again. <laughs> Taylor would never open for you. Uh, they're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why I shot for the stars there, kind of weird to me. And then uh, they added, I will kill you in your sleep. <laughs> That's a promise. Yeah, I, I got like a little scared. I didn't know what to do. Never done this before, you know? Uh, but I'm an idiot. So I responded, do you think Taylor would appreciate the way you're treating me right now? <laughs> and without hesitation, they replied back, yes. I was like, she would. <laughs> 100, she'd be all over that. She'd be like, kill him. He's the patriarchy, you know? <laughs> write a song about him, re-release it, you know. <laughs> Call it Palestine Taylor's version, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want. Um, I am Palestinian and uh, I'm, I'm Muslim too. And you go through like a lot of Islamophobia and racism. Then the breaks, it happens, what can you do? Um, and I think like my first experience with it growing up, I was in middle school, one of my teachers came up to me and uh, he was like, hey, terrorist. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be crazy. No. And he was like, in front of the whole class, he was like, Sharif, where's Osama? <laughs> Tell us where Osama's hiding. Everybody started laughing. They're all in on the joke, I guess. Um, I was a bit confused because I have a cousin named Osama. <laughs> I really do. So I was like, he's in Jersey City. <laughs> I could call him up, and he could be here in like 20 minutes. He's not that hard to find, <laughs> as you claim. I don't know. I think like learning about race as a child is kind of confusing. You're trying to put all the pieces together. And I thought, I remember I was like little, and I was like, oh, I got it. I really grasped it. I understand it. And then I saw my first white woman with dreads. I was like, this can't be right. <laughs> There's something wrong. God did not put you on this planet, you know? You smell wrong. <laughs> All right, that, I'm going to leave it on that. I don't know. <laughs> That's the end of that. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sharif, he's the only person. Uh, he's our only viral clip. Thanks. Our only viral clip from this show is like, uh, he's got like a, like a couple million views. It about. happens. What can you do, you know? Yeah, you did that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. It. Was that the reason why people wanted to kill you? I was from that video. Mm. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what's up, You're dude. <laughs> yeah. No. no, that's sick. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know what to say about your set because I thought it was fun. I thought you were. Uh, you had an adorable energy while you were there. Thanks. I thought you were building it up until the white lady with the dreads thing. I felt like there was like a pretty strong build. It was definitely slow, but I still like what you were doing. I'm not hating on it. I'm just still digesting it. What do you got? I, I dude, you really you set up like the punches really well because you like you leave the air for it. And it's like, it's one of those things where you, you're not carrying it through, so that means that the punches have to like really hit, and then they do. Like, you're really, you're fucking nailing it. Like, yeah, I really these enjoy watching you. Good writer, for sure. Thanks, white boys. Thanks, white boys. You're welcome. Yeah. He's you're welcome, the white boys, too. Kidding, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. Anyway, <laughs> what do you, um, I liked it a lot. Last joke could have hit a little bit better. I know the, when the final comment goes up, all the comedians who didn't go up are like, oh, shit. So it's hard. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I made note of that. Yeah. Um, that being said, uh, I think that the... I'm going to go nine. I liked it a lot. Whoa.
Oh, yeah. that's pretty high praise. What are you going? I was going to do 7.5. 7.5. I was going to do 7. I thought it was really entertaining, but it could have been punched up just a little bit. I feel like the story with the Taylor Swift fan, like though it is funny conceptually, there are punches in there that you got to hit. I don't know, something about killing somebody while they're asleep. And the, what would Taylor do is hilarious as a phrase, but it's just not, it's just not ready yet. But mm -hmm. I see where you're going with it. It was really good, though. Let me see. Did you make the leaderboard? Let's see. I did. 16. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah, count 16. it. 16. 23.5. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> so close, dude. Yeah. We love the confidence, though. Thank you. All right. Make some noise for them. And make some noise for all the comedians you've seen tonight so far. Yeah, Are you dude. guys ready for the finals of this competition? Yo, pull out that fat water money. We got $230 on the line. The way that we do our finals is all of the comedians who are in the top three are going to come up here and they're going to do one final joke. There's not really a time limit on it, but it's one joke. Just one joke, your funniest joke. And once it's over, we're going to go through them and you're going to clap for only the person who you want to take home this $230. Make some noise for me if you understand what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's get this energy high. We're we're going to go from the bottom of the leaderboard to the top of the leaderboard. So first, we're going to be having Gabe Corser. Next, we're going to have Lawrence. And then, uh, and then we got Josh with the highest score of the night, which is a 27.8. All right, are you ready? Make some noise as Gabe Corser comes to the stage, everybody. It's the goddamn finals. Go crazy. Oh, great to see everybody again. Uh, I'm mixed, so I have black grandparents and white grandparents, and what's cool about them is that both sets are actually racist, which is fun. You know, that's neat. My black grandparents are actually better at being racist than my white ones, which is like, who saw that coming? You know? <laughs> Crazy. Like my uh, my black grandma, she's Puerto Rican, and she doesn't like Dominican people. And I know to you guys it's like, what's the difference? But like, you know what kind of trained eye you have to have to reach that level of prejudice? That's years of perfecting your craft. You know, just sharpening her sword. So I let it slide. I, if it's earned, I'll let it slide. You know, my white grandma, she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. It's just so misguided. You know, she, what she'll do, she's still pissed about Pearl Harbor. Um, so what she'll do is she won't eat Thai food. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not even close. <laughs> you know? And even if she was right, like, I don't know if the profit from these crab rangoons are going to the Imperial Army, <laughs> Nana. <laughs> you know? <laughs> My, uh, my grandpa will say stuff that he thinks is fine, that he thinks is like progressive. He'll be like, me, I, I don't care if you're purple. You guys ever hear old dudes say that? Old dudes love to throw around purple. I don't know. <laughs> you know I think it's because it's like a safe bet for them. You know, they'll never have to put their money where their mouth is. <laughs> You know? But I guarantee if purple dudes started moving into their neighborhood, they'd be like, all right, wait one second. Like, I didn't know they were going to play music that loud. You know? All right, thank you. Make some noise for Gabe, of course, everybody. Let's keep it going as Lawrence comes to the stage. Nigga, tall as shit. All right. Yell for your hoes one more time. Clap for your hoes. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't smoke weed the way I used to. I start, I stopped smoking so much weed because I don't think me and a white woman should have the same activities. <laughs> but I, before I stopped, I was smoking my mom. And I don't smoke with her no more because I learned too much about this bitch. Mm -hmm. My mom is, used to be fun, you know. Mm -hmm. I was smoking with her, passed her the blunt. She goes, she smokes it, she hits it, and then she's like, you know your father got some good ass dick. I'm like, nah, that's too much. <laughs> Cause she told me that, like I was her best friend, like I was her girlfriend. Like, what am I supposed to do with that information? Be hyped? Be like, yeah, I know dad fucking the shit out. No, no, leave me the fuck alone. Get out of my room, please. Uh, I don't vote. I, I refuse to vote. I don't give a fuck about politics. The reason why I don't vote is because every politician, every president has done dumb shit to me. We had Trump as a president. He would tweet world domination too early. It's too early. It's six in the morning. I'm trying to sleep. We had a whole president that got his dick stuck in the office like we wasn't watching him. I used to love Obama until, they, until I found out every chance Obama get, he tried to prove to black people he could play basketball. I hate that shit. Because they've been asking Obama serious questions. Like, Obama, there's been a lot of school shootings lately. How you feel about that? He's like, it's sad them kids could shoot, but not like me, though. I'm like, you can't. <laughs> can't say that. He's like, yeah, but you look at my Sandy Hook. I'm like, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot say that. Uh, let me see what else I got. Uh, um, Damn, I, I got a homie that used to work at a suicide hotline. I could never, because I'm too goofy. If you call me with your problems, I'm going to make it so much more worse. 
You call me at the sewers and I'm like, yo, bro, I think about killing myself. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> The worst part about it, you're going to find out people at that source of hotline got more in common than you think. They'd be like, yo, bro, I, my dad's in prison, my mom's on drugs, I got a horrible job, I'm thinking about killing myself. I'm like, damn, nigga, sound like my life. <laughs> Twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that's my time, right? Yes, sir. Make some noise to Lawrence, everybody. Let's keep it going as Josh comes to the stage. Final comic of the night. Hey everybody. Uh, okay, so I uh, I met a guy who went to Virginia Tech, and and he was telling me about like um, the school, and, like the culture and stuff. And he's telling me that every every year they run a memorial 5K for the school shooting that happened there. Oh, it seems like a nice thing, right? But it feels a little inappropriate to memorialize a school shooting by having a guy fire a gun and then everyone starts running. You know what I mean? Does that feel? A little, remember this? Bang! And then everyone starts sprinting. It's like what? <laughs> That's crazy. I, I, 5K is uh, normally 3.1 miles, but at Virginia Tech, it, they run 3.2 because 32 people were shot and killed. Um, and that, again, that seems nice, but that means each person is worth one tenth of a mile, which is just not great. <laughs> That's not great. Like, what if one person got shot? It's like, all right, 100 meter dash for Carl, ready. And I mean, I don't know. And I asked the guy, I was like, what route? What, what's the route that they run? And he was like, no route. Everyone just kind of scatters. Everyone just kind of runs all over. Um, all right, that's it for me. Thanks, everybody. Oh, yeah, make some noise for Josh. Stay on the stage. Lawrence, Gabe, get back on the stage. Hell yeah. This is our finals now. This is out of our hands as judges. We've done our part to get these comedians here. What we're going to do is we're going to go from left to right, and you're only going to clap for the person who you want to take home $230. Do you understand? Yeah. Absolutely. Go fucking crazy for your person. Make as much noise as you can for your person, because I don't want to do this shit again. You got it? All right. If you think Lawrence should take home this money, make some noise right now. Hell yeah. If you think Gabe should take home this money, make some noise right now. It's pretty good. If you think Josh should take home this money, make some noise for him right now. All right, oh, Josh, yeah. You're looking like the champion of the comedy lottery this week. Make some noise for him. That's been our show. Thank you for coming.